morning guys um it is easter sunday um so i just i had a dream last night and i just kind of wanted to get this message out um about these dreams so i'm going to give you the scriptures and then just kind of just tell you a little bit about this timeline there's a dream and then the lord added some scriptures early this morning in prayer so it's psalms 118 14 matthew 22 in Psalms 23, 5. Psalms 118, 14. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You made every day, guys. If you're alive, if you're listening to this, it's a great day. Awesome day. In spite. I'm going to get on the Corona bus, the, the pandemic garbage and trash it's a great day in the Lord time to rejoice and be glad in it Matthew 22 is the marriage supper of the Lamb he's prepared for the wedding he's calling everybody are you listening are you going to come to the wedding are you going to get caught up in this viral trash that's going on all around, all around us in the world and I'm not Psalms 23 5 he prepared a table in the presence of our enemy and then early this morning when I was in prayer because that's one of the messages I got out there which I'm going to reiterate told me he said it's time to call the nation to 5 a.m. prayer actually the world probably but 5 a.m. prayer to start the day and there's a reason why fives because it's a period of grace a time of grace not to sin and do whatever we want but his grace and mercy to reach the lost and undone Matthew 20 is about the harvest and he needed laborers and were all the same. The people that worked all day and toiled in the sun, when they got to Jesus, they expected more. And they caught the name too when they didn't get more. That's how the church world was. No longer, guys. You can probably pick a handful of churches that are even open this morning. Why did God do all that? Why did he allow that to happen? Matthew 21. Is, is your answer, but it's the beginning of it is about the triumphant return. And everybody's saying, Hosanna, King, Jesus is King, still is King. These all correlate, they all go together. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. But Matthew 21 talks about the triumphant return, but then it gets to the, to the part about, and then the whole scripture is great, but then it gets to the part about the turned over the tables and the money changers. So we made it a den of thieves and its house would be called the house of prayer. And then Matthew 22, of course, is the one that I said earlier, but that's about the, the wedding. He's calling us all the wedding, guys. The table's been being prepared, but he gets to pick our seat assignment. He gets to pick the meal. He's just calling us to the wedding. So... Happy Easter. Um, in spite of this world, we can get on, all of us can get on a soapbox about that. But the wedding that he's calling us to is being prepared. And if you, I never really read it. Um, 1980 is when I got saved, guys. Okay, so I, I heard it, never really read it in, any, in the depth that was there. Nobody wants to hear this part of it, but it's there. I called everybody to the wedding. Everybody wants to jump on, sent them in the highways and the hedges to compel people to come in. Well, what happened prior to that? What was he saying? He sent him to the wedding and they treated his servants bad, he called everybody. They had stuff to do, things to do, the busyness of life and cares of this life. <laughs> Look 
what he did. Look what happened to him. Just read it, guys. But it's still good news for his people, for his sheep, for his source. That's what I'm telling you guys at 5 in the morning. Get up and pray with me as a nation. I got up this morning, but I don't every morning. Some morning, I'm, you know, I'm just exhausted. I'm sleeping in. There's some things that I'm doing that are like kind of burning the candle at both ends a little bit, but it's almost completed and it's like, okay, God. But as much as I can right now, I'm mostly almost every day. But there's a reason for it, guys. We can, that's not politicizing this. It's, you know, yeah, let's vote some of these yahoos out of office, but really let's pray them out. Pray in his will. That's what it's about. Who's your source? God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. Man, where, where are y'all going to church this morning, guys? Kind of a reality check. Just, just telling you, saying, you know, you know, the, you know, where, you know where I'm going with that. They that worship him must worship in spirit and truth. I ask the Lord that is, you know, that's listen to some of my messages, <clears throat> other ones. But I was like, man, God, why did all this just like the light switch flipped off? The world just came totally against, you know, us. But he's resurrecting. It's Joel's army, guys. It's an outpouring coming. In spite of this power trip that everybody's on now. I don't I'm going to ask them that, why did this, so many of these churches, and there were some good churches too that got thrown in the mix, so don't, don't take this the wrong way. Why did they get closed up? <clears throat> because so many of them were built upon sand, and he wants to build his house upon the rock. He's rebuilding his house that what so we can stand these storms that are about to come. You think this coronavirus is a is a major storm and it is. It's a warning, guys. Kinda like they gave the warning to the Titanic icebergs ahead and what did the captain do? Full steam ahead. <clears throat> Unthinkable, unsinkable ship. Or whatever. It's time to get a hold of Jesus. It's time for his triumphant return into your life. It's time to choose. It's time to rejoice and be glad. This is the day that the Lord has made and rejoice and be glad in it and not be silent and not let the world twist us up with their demonic ego power trip stuff. <clears throat> Lock us up. Man. Look at my message that I put out about Isaiah 60, 1 and 22. It's time to rise and shine, guys. Not be silent. Be his light. Be his voice. Be his feet. So we don't have church buildings to go to. That doesn't mean we can't still gather together as his body. That's why five in the morning prayer is so important. Why did we just turn off from God? Because unfortunately, guys, it probably wasn't really there as much as it needed to be. That's why I put that out there. It's time to repent, weep between the porch and the altar, and really get a hold of God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. It's going to see us through this as Christians. So I'm going to end with that because this is really a good time, even though it's a hard time, and even though suffering and persecution and just all this unreal stuff. It's like, 
in a, in a moment, everything changed pretty much. Well, a couple months or whatever, but pretty quick. Yeah. It's not done yet, guys. I'm not doom and gloom guy either. I'm saying we got to get it from our source. It's time to go to the closet. Prepare yourself for a battle, guys. Joel's army. No more of this theology, a little bit of neology. Not a little bit, a lot of it. So, anyhow, um, it is. He's resurrecting, but he's resurrecting in the spirit. The spiritual man, not the fleshly man. Not our trust in the government. Our governments or doctors or things of this world man guys let's just I'm going to end with this let's just get real these little stupid cotton masks and my granddad wore one when I was a kid to keep the pollen out from when because he, he had hay fever from cutting the grass you think that's going to stop a virus just this pandemic is just as much stupidity as it is you know I'm just going to call it what it is. I'm not saying we shouldn't take precautions. I'm not saying we shouldn't try to be wise. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying we should put our trust in God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the Word. <clears throat> he's not going to, you know, he may, you know, he's not going to tell us to go gather in a, a mega stadium anymore and be in hundreds of thousands of people together <clears throat> or even big churches. That doesn't mean he's not going to get you to gather together with other, other believers and other saints and other men and women of God. He's going to tell you to go to the left or the right or straight or stop. But not if we're not praying and listening and talking to him and seeking him. <clears throat> it is resurrection time. He's wanting to resurrect. He's wanting to live in us, guys. He's wanting us to portray, to portray to this lost and dying world who he really is, be that light. Great time. This is an awesome day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Not sad in it. <clears throat> like I said, not caught up in this, sorry, not caught riding this Corona bus. <clears throat> That the world is just, man, I'm going to end with this, okay? People ask, are you are you being serious about this coronavirus? Are you staying in? Are you, you know, doing, for the, following all the social guidelines and the, or whatever it is, social distancing and all this other stuff? <clears throat> I'm like, are you really being serious about Jesus, the Son of God, His plan? Because what we perish from in life, in this life, guys, whatever we, we're all gonna, we're all gonna perish one day. Whatever, whatever, if it's a disease or however it is, it's pales in comparison to where is your soul gonna spend eternity? Where is the rest of your life gonna be spent? It's time to get this right, guys. Not built our house upon sand, you know. And now everything. I mean, man. It's way too many idols being knocked down, taken out. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Because he needs to be first. And that's what this is about. It's not about a, a bunny rabbit that lays eggs, which is a lie anyhow. Sorry, guys. It's about Jesus. We're not going to be replacing with a $1,200 check. There's so many things, guys, that we could, you know, go down. It's the real deal, guys. And you're going to get it on your knees or in your closet. Love you guys. Happy Easter. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and your word. 
Love you guys. Have a great Easter. It is good. Follow the timeline. Matthew 20, 21, and 22. Um, love you guys. Uh, have a great day. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. I'm going to rejoice. I'm glad in it. And I know many of you all are. So let's just sh let, the, let our light shine to this world. And let them know. It's not that we don't care. It's that we're about our Father's business. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.